want to just start with your overall thoughts on this upcoming home stretch. It's probably the most important one of the season. You start with the team that you're kind of fighting with, Miami and the bottom of the team. Yeah, I mean, look, this is this is uh, going to be the uh, our destination uh, as far as where we're going to end up with the three game home stretch, you know, starting with Miami and, you know, they're, they're fighting for the same position that we are, a, a playoff spot. So it's going to be a tough game. I would imagine they're going to come and they're going to give it everything they've got. We've got the home, home field advantage and that's, that's what we got to play off of. And we've been training. Training has been really good after the Pittsburgh game. Obviously the Pittsburgh game was disappointing. I don't think we were, that bad, but we've made a couple huge mistakes as as it, ha it has happened over the season, um, and it cost us a game. But uh, I felt our energy level, especially after the weather delay, and, and the way we approached the game was pretty good. They were just a little bit better than us. They put us under pressure, and we made a couple mistakes. But you know, we're ready for this game against Miami. We know uh, it's a six-point swing, you know, with uh, with a close rival. So. Um, I, I, I think the boys are mentally ready for this one. It seemed like in that game, maybe the, the chance creation was, was a little limited. I mean, Danny had a, a good shot in the second half. Antoine had that shot early on, but it didn't seem like there was too much else. How, how do you plan to improve that going into the home stretch? Well, that, I mean, look, that, that comes from uh, Pittsburgh being a team that really puts you under with their pressure. Uh, and it's not easy. But, you know, obviously we, we work on – you know, how to create overloads, whether it's in our back line, in the midfield line, and up front, and try to be able to keep possession. The more we keep possession, the more we can push the ball into the attack, then we can create situations. But they did a really good job of pressuring our back line, and we resorted to long balls, and they won every long ball that we played because they were, they were strong and, you know, uh, very, very good in the air in their back line. So, you know, we got to keep the ball on the ground, we got to move, we got to create overloads, we got to find a gap where we can receive balls and turn and, and attack their defenders. Uh, that's how you create, create uh, goal scoring opportunities. And we've, we worked yesterday and today on that. So hopefully we, you'll see that uh, manifest itself in, in the game against Miami. Yeah, I, I, I don't, again, I don't want to take anything away from Miami. You know, you got to respect every team. There's no easy games in this league. But Pittsburgh is, is a different level in terms of how they pressure the ball. Um, I don't think they're as good as uh, San Antonio, but San Antonio is, is different. They, they can pressure you, but they also have players that can hurt you. Pittsburgh, I didn't feel like they were going to hurt us. Uh, really, if you look at the two goals they scored, it was basically gifts that we, we gave them. Um, so... Um, you know, not looking past the Miami game. Uh, we have Pittsburgh coming in next Wednesday. And I don't feel uh, uncomfortable. or I, I, f I feel pretty comfortable playing against them. It's not like they're, they're world beaters. They're very organized defensively. they got a coach who, who knows this league is pretty well and has done well in this league. But uh, we, we play a very similar style. Um, we just got to play with more intensity and press the ball the same way they do. And then take advantage of our chances. If we put that ball away in the first five minutes, it could have been a different outcome. But, you know, that's the way the game goes. Are you excited to just be home and not traveling as much? I know you guys have had a lot of travel and this is a nice stretch for you guys. And also, you, we can see how much the win last week at home meant to the fans. Oh, of course, you know, being at home, it, it gives us that confidence. Uh, but also the travel wears on you, especially the travel we've had. It's been out to the West Coast two or three times. I mean, yeah, I, I consider San Antonio just as just as far as the West Coast. So uh, it wasn't easy, but we got through it. Uh, we were able to get a win in Vegas, um, and now we now we got to take care of our, um, our of our home games. Uh, and it doesn't matter whether we play Miami or Pittsburgh or El Paso. All three games are winnable games in front of our crowd, and we got to take advantage of that. Yeah, we, well, we didn't have that in Pittsburgh. We didn't have that problem in Pittsburgh. Even though we had a three-hour delay with weather, uh, I, I felt we came out with the right energy. Again, mistakes, individual mistakes is what shot us in the foot. Um, 
the the talk has been you know throughout practice and and while we're training has been the intensity and and the mentality how we need to come out especially at home get on top of the team and control the game with our possession control the game with our energy and i think you're going to see that come saturday and you talked about fitness since you've come in and this need to improve it seems like it has that way but at this point in the season when you're in the final stages this is when it's hardest to maintain you feel like you guys are in a good spot there yeah i think physically we're in a good good place uh much better than we were uh, a couple months back uh, injuries have kind of uh, held us back a little bit. Elvis in and out. Kembo was out for a long time. Kyle Edwards is still going to be out for this uh, this stretch of next three games. Uh, but we're, we seem a lot healthier and we seem a lot fitter. So uh, I'm happy about that. I think I think the timing is right for us to pick up some wins here at home uh, in, in this stretch coming up. Yeah, it depends. Uh, you know, it depends on Antoine's performance and how he does. If he, if he continues to be a threat, you know, you gotta you gotta play him up there because what Antoine does well is he gets him behind. You know, obviously the winning goal here against New Mexico and then that chance against Pittsburgh. That's him just making runs without the ball to get behind. We need that. We need that. And if if it's not Antoine, it's got to be Elvis. It's got to be Kyle Edwards. Whoever's playing on top, Prince. Uh, so as long as Antoine's doing it and he's doing a good job, you got to go with the same with the, with the same guy. Now we play with two forwards, so uh, you know there's a situation where Prince has been playing. Prince is more comfortable out on the on, on the on the flank. So we're going to adjust a little bit and, and see how we can go about having two guys playing up front and Prince playing wide.